Welcome to Tech Guy channel. In this video, I will show you how to speed up your Windows 10 performance. Step number 1, disable startup apps. Many of the apps installed on your computer can configure themselves to launch automatically during startup and continue to run in the background. However if you don't use those apps on a daily basis, they can waste valuable system resources which can significantly slow down the system. To disable apps at startup on Windows 10, just type the settings on the search box, then press enter, then click on apps, then select startup. Next click the sort by menu and select the startup impact option. Turn off the toggle switch for any application that's not a priority, especially those marked as high impact. Now you can close the window. Step number 2, disable background apps. Alongside the ability for apps to run at startup, certain apps can continue to perform a number of tasks in the background even if you're not using them. To disable background apps, go to settings, click on privacy, then click on background apps. Turn off the toggle switch for the apps you want to prevent from running in the background. Now we have disabled the unwanted background apps. Now we can turn off the window. Step number 3. Uninstall non-essential apps. You should always consider uninstalling all the apps that you never use to increase system performance. To uninstall non-essential apps, open settings, then click on apps, next is click on apps and features, then select the apps that you want to remove then click the uninstall button. Note, if you're removing a traditional desktop app, you may need to continue with the on-screen directions to finish uninstalling. Now we're done with the uninstallation of unwanted apps. Let's go for the fourth step. Step number four. Reclaim hard drive space. One way to keep the storage from affecting performance is to use storage sense to delete unnecessary files to reclaim space. To clean up a drive using storage sense, use these steps. Open settings, then click on system, then click on storage. Under the local disk section, click the temporary files item. If you don't see the option, click the show more categories link. Then check the files that you want to delete, in this window, you can see that some of the options are pre-selected, just modify it, in this case, I will check recycle bin to add it, then click the remove files button to empty the folders. Now recycle bin, and other selected folders are cleaned up, we can close this window and go for the next step. Additional ways of deleting unnecessary temporary files is by using the run command and following these steps. First, go to run and type temp, then press enter. Now you can see files and folders, select all and delete it. Notice that some of the folders can't be deleted, just leave it because it is currently used by other application. Now you can close the window. Next go to run again and type percentage temp percentage then press enter. Now in this window, select all files and delete it. Next go to run again and type prefetch then press enter. Now in the window, select all and delete it. Now all temporary files are deleted. But of course, you have to delete this also in the recycle bin but I will not show for now because we have just done a while ago. Step number 5. Change power plan. If you're looking to boost performance, you should be using the high performance option, which allows your computer to use more power to run faster. To set power plan follow the steps. Open control panel. Click on power options. Select the high performance power plan. If the power plan you want to use isn't available, you can create a custom power plan to improve performance using the high performance settings. To do this, go to create power plan, then type the plan name, in this case I will type gaming 1, then press next to continue, 
then press create. Now the window refreshed and you can see the new plan name which was just created. On that, we're going to modify by pressing change plan settings, then go to change advanced power settings, on the graphic option, just select maximum performance on both options, then click apply and ok icon to save it. On laptops, you can also change the power mode to improve performance by tapping or clicking the battery icon in the notification area and setting the slider to the best performance option. That's it for adjusting power plan for best performance. Step number 6, Disable System Visual Effects. These visual effects from animations to shadows to more sophisticated visuals, such as blur and transparency, reveal highlight, and others as part of fluent design require additional system resources. If you want to improve the system performance as much as possible, you can disable these effects to save some resources and make Windows 10 seem faster. To disable visual effects, open settings click on system click on about under the related settings section click the system info option from the right pane click the advanced system settings link from the left pane click the advanced tab click the settings button under the performance section click the visual effects tab select the adjust for best performance option to disable all the effects and animations Click the apply button. Then go to advanced tab, under the adjust for best performance of. Select program. Then click apply. Then click ok. Once you complete the steps, the standard visual effects will disable, and interacting with elements, such as windows and menus, will feel more responsive. Now let's close these windows. Additional way of settings to best performance is by disabling transparency effects. To disable fluent design visual effects, use these steps. Open settings. Click on personalization. Click on colors. Turn off the transparency effects toggle switch. After you complete the steps, Windows 10 will not only feel faster, but your device will free up some system resources for more important tasks. Step number 7. Increase page file size. The page file is a hidden file on the hard drive that Windows 10 uses as memory, and acts as an overflow of the system memory that holds the data needed for apps currently running on your computer. To adjust your page file settings, follow these steps. Open settings. Click on system. Click on about. Under the related settings section, on the right pane, Click the system info option. Click the advanced system settings link from the left pane. Click the advanced tab. Under the performance section, click the settings button. Click the advanced tab. Under the virtual memory section, click the change button. Clear the automatically manage paging file size for all drives option. Select the custom size option. Specify the initial and maximum size for the paging file in megabytes. Take note, usually it's recommended to use a number that's one and a half times the total available memory for the initial size and three times of available memory for the maximum size when possible. In this case, I have a total memory of 8 GB as you can see here. So my initial size will be 12,000 MB, and maximum size will be 24,000 MB. Then click the set button. Click the OK button. And click the OK button again. After you complete the steps, the device will restart, and you should then notice a boost in performance when running apps, even more if you're increasing the paging file size in a solid state drive. Step number 8. Reduce runtime service. To do this, go to run and type MS config then press enter. Go to services. As you can see here, there are many services running including Microsoft services. What we have to do is hide first all Microsoft services by checking hide all Microsoft service to avoid from accidentally disabling. Then click disable all, then you can select manually which services you need. Then click apply. And for this to take effect, you have to restart your computer, but for now. I will click exit without restart to show more demo.
Step number 9. Registry Tweaks. Now I will show you how to do registry tweaks to speed up your system, go to run again and type reg edit then press enter. In this window, go to H key current user, then to control panel, then click the mouse folder, I will expand first this name column to see more details, then double click on the mouse hover time option, then change the value to 10, then click OK. Now we just increase the mouse response time. And for these settings to take effect, we have to restart the computer. Step number 10. Run the fragmentation tool. These tools will organize the files to spend less time seeking for them the next time they're needed. To run the defragmentation tool to speed up the system storage, use these steps. Open settings. Click on system. Click on storage. Under the more storage settings section, click the optimize drives option. Select the drive from the list. Click the optimize button. Note. If you're using an SSD, you won't see any benefits using the defragmentation tool. However if your device still using a traditional HDD, using the tool can increase the responsiveness of the system. Now defragmentation is done. After defragmentation, it will display the percentage of the disk defragment. Here in the demo, it is showing 0% because I had just done the defragmentation a while ago. And that's it for defragmentation. This covers setting your system to its best performance in Windows 10. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel for more great tutorials. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.